I'd like to show you a neat trick in Excel, which allows me to link information from a website into an Excel spreadsheet. And you might think, wow, why would I ever want to do that? But there's actually a lot of situations where you could use this um, quite effectively. So I'm going to give you an example of currency rates. So in Excel, uh, if you have a blank workbook, or this would work within any workbook, you just click on the cell you'd like to start placing the data that helps in this process. And then you're going to go to the data tab along the ribbon. Yours will most likely be expanded and you'll have a button that says from web. In my case, because my screen's a bit smaller here, I'm just going to have to choose get external data and then choose from web. You're looking for this from web button. When I do that, it launches a window called new web query. And, and I would recommend making this window a little bit bigger um, just because it's probably going to pop up quite small um, on your screen. And then you can go to an address directly if you know it. So right now I'm on Google. Um, this is my homepage, but I'm just going to do a Google search here. So it's like you're using a browser in Excel. So I'm going to search for currency rate table. And it pops up all my Google information, which is very useful. I'm just going to use this first one, x-rates.com. It's a currency exchange table. So I'm going to click that link, and again, it, it goes there. I'll change my table that I want here. I'm going to change it to Canadian dollar. I want the rates table section. And here's what you need to take a look at. When you load up a website, there are these little yellow arrows. Okay, And this indicates the table that you'd want to bring in. A lot of websites can get broken down by these tables, as you can see here. If I move my mouse over a particular table, it highlights the area that it's going to import. So in this case, I'd like to take this table, the top 10 uh, currencies, um, top 10 for the Canadian dollar here. So I'm going to put a little check mark in it. You do that by moving your mouse over the yellow arrow. You click, adds a check mark, and we're ready to go. And you can import more than one of these, but I'm just going to start with just this one. So I'm going to click the import button. It will ask where do I want to put it. It'll default to whatever cell you've selected. So that's going to be just fine with me. I'm going to hit OK. It contacts the website, gets the information, and then pulls it into Excel. And of course, we might be thinking to ourselves, well, you know, that's great and everything, but I could have copied and pasted. Why didn't I just do that? Well, the big difference is that this data is now connected to that website. So if I start using these numbers and formulas to do calculations in my spreadsheet, and then tomorrow I want to get up to date figures on what the Canadian dollar is doing versus the US dollar, the euro, or the British pound, or any of these things, all I would have to do is refresh the data. And you can do that on the data tab. There's a refresh button. You can say refresh, which will refresh the active connection that you're clicked into, or you can do refresh all. But you see down here, it actually runs the query again, goes to the website, gets up to date information, and puts it in my spreadsheet. So this is live data that I'm now connected to the web uh, through Excel that I can use in my formulas and my spreadsheets. So it's an unbelievably powerful tool that we have in Excel. Give it a shot, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, and again, if you want it to update, you just gotta click that refresh button. It's gonna go contact the website, get the new information, and away you go.